Hello everyone and warm wishes. My name is Chakshu Chaudhary. I am a pediatrician and a medical geneticist. I am senior consultant in the Department of Medical Genetics at Redcliffe Labs. Today we shall be discussing about genetic disorders in children. So going back, gene, DNA, chromosome, it is basically the same thing present in different phases of cell cycle that carries the coding information that is transmitted from one generation to another. So how do we identify that there is a genetic disorder in a child? Sometimes a disease may run in the family. For example, grandfather had it, then the father had it, and now the child has it. So that makes it very evident. However, more often than not, that is not the case scenario and a disease may not run in family. And still, a genetic cause is suspected. What are the clues or pointers that help us in identifying that? So depending upon the type of defect and its severity, it may manifest at different phases of life. For example, if a woman is pregnant and goes for an ultrasound scan, and she is told that the fetus, that is the child growing inside the womb, has some malformations in the organs, that the child is not growing well, that can be a pointer towards an underlying genetic cause. If that is missed or is not the case, then when the child is born, at the time of birth, the child may not have developed his organs properly, may have malformations or defects in the heart, brain, kidney, or other major systems, or may have some subtle pointers of the face, hands, feet, genitals that do not appear normal for that child. Apart from that, there can be severe growth restriction or extremely low birth weight for a child. However, even if a genetic disorder is not picked up or is not suspected at birth. When the parents take, the, uh, take, take their child back home and the child starts growing, there are certain clues or pointers that can help the parents identify. For example, if they notice that the child is not holding the neck properly, not sitting properly, not standing, while as compared to other children of similar age, in the family or in the neighborhood, or the child is not vocalizing, saying mama, papa, when the child should start speaking. So when the parents come, go back home, see that the child is not developing properly, when they compare their child to the children of similar age group, that is when they can present to the pediatrician or healthcare provider that, look, my child is not developing properly. And that can also point towards an underlying genetic cause of developmental delay. Sometimes these children are picked up even later and the manifestations are subtle. So when a child is in the preschool years or starts going to school, he may have poor social interaction and may not do so well in studies, may have poor attention span, may be hyperactive, aggressive, and such uh, such pointers can also indicate an underlying genetic cause. So uh, I hope this was helpful. And if uh, you find that these pointers or these clues are present in a child, then do visit your healthcare provider. At Redcliffe Lab Sciences, we do an array of tests for all types of genetic disorders. Rightly and timely managing, diagnosing your child in time can help in managing your child better.